YouTube. How's it going? It's been a while. It's another week. I'm gonna make about four videos this week. I'm gonna try. That's the plan. Let's get into it. So there's this uh there's these weird quotes that go around and this weird connotation that goes around about having expectations and then there's something else but it's less popular now the less popular one and i like how darlene zichek put it in extravagant worship expectation is the breeding ground of miraculous now israel Hewn says the expectation the atmosphere of expectation is the breeding ground for miracles now the the popular one that a lot of people get wrong because they have a superficial understanding of it and don't understand it correctly and they get it wrong they get it wrong just like they get a lot of things wrong and it's kind of more ignorant than anything and what it is is there's some quotes people say live without expectation that is one i don't know who said that but people make these funny little cute things and they put quotes in them and they put somebody put live without expectation another one is expecting is my favorite crime and disappointment is always my punishment that's another quote another quote is i don't have expectations expectations in your life just lead to giant disappointments and this one has a um, has a credit to michael landon quoted that and poor guy i don't have high expectations and you won't be or it says don't have high expectations and you won't be let down it sounds very depressing 25 i don't have any expectations because you might hurt me again this is very immature and childish simple things become complicated when you expect too much and that is true so let's get into the reason why those are all false and why the the atmosphere of expectation is the breeding ground for miracles so there's a lot of things that people get wrong when having expectations one thing is that they fail to understand the possible outcomes and analyze the situation they expect to um maybe get rich without putting in work um and the same this kind of expectations is like i'm scared of love because i've been hurt before that's a very superficial um idea of love because everybody who loves knows that that's something that you shouldn't even expect to that you got to understand those outcomes that you might get hurt because of it but if you feel that that's the thing you just love is kind of unconditional so so you you understand the possible outcomes and you analyze the situation you find out what's realistic so and another thing that you do you communicate the expect the expectations that you have to the expectee and ask them to communicate them back and any grievances or unreasonable expectations so say you have an expectation to get a promotion maybe you might want to speak to your boss your supervisor or your manager and ask them how how realistic is it that i might get to become a boss one day what do i need to do to become a boss a supervisor or get a promotion what is it that i have to accomplish and what do you see that i'm lacking right now that's hindering me from becoming a, a uh, promote getting promoted so that's the first thing you need to communicate to the communicate or the expectee or the situation you need to analyze it and you need to 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 communicate with it and question it say if you have an expectation to hit 225 pounds on the bench press you need to ask yourself you need to see, look at the analyze the situation look at the bench press be like i weigh about 150 um i go to the gym five days a week i'm gonna need to hit chest even more and you need to make a little timeline if you want to say i want to hit it by this time and say what you're going to need to do how you're going to eat better and all that in order to be able to get to uh, to reach those expectations and even exceed them so you need so something that a lot of people fail at and they come they fall short from their expectations is that 
They don't do those two things. They don't understand the possible outcomes. And they don't communicate the expectations to the expectee and ask, ask the expectation to communicate back any grievances that it has. Un, if it's unrealistic, the bench press is going to tell you, like if you say I want to bench 400 pounds one day, you got to understand that you're probably never going to hit that if you weigh 100 pounds. Probably not, but you're going to see it. You're going to look at it, and you're going to speak to people who hit 400 pounds, and they're going to tell you, you know what? You might hit it one day. Keep on trying, but understand that it might take some time, and it might be hard, and you might hit it one day. But what I'm going to say is that you you kind of get a realistic overview of what is in front of you, and that's what people fail to do. They just say, oh, I have faith. That's not faith. That's ignorance. Now, that's the way you got to do. You got to communicate and have a little relationship with your expectations. You need to poke at it all the time. Be like, hey, is this real? Is this legit? What do I need to do? Because what people do is say, I have that expectation and just wake up and say they want a job. I want a job. I'm going to get a job. My expectation is to get a job, but they won't even go out and search or um, refine their skills if they want a promotion. They just, oh, I'm expecting. I'm expecting. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. I have faith. It's going to happen. And it doesn't happen. They get let down. They feel that expectations are wrong. But the problem was that they failed to do both of those things. Understand possible outcomes. Another thing that we got to do is understand that we may fall short or it may not be exactly what we wanted. Say that you want a, a husband. You're a, a woman or say you want a wife. You want him to be six feet tall or say you want your wife to, to look like a model, have a model body and have a million dollars in the bank and drive a Mercedes. You want... Your expectations are crazy. I'm going to tell you that right now. You want a perfect person. You don't want a human. You want, and some guys out there, they want a girl that plays basketball and wears Jordans and plays video games and stuff. You don't want a, a girl. You want a guy. So be careful because a lot of those girls, girls that are like that, they tend to want to, you, you're going to look at them as a, as a homie, not as a wife. So that's the thing right there. So make sure you're, you, how look at how viable your expectations are and you know what you might have a bunch of guys coming around you as a girl you might reject them all maybe your husband might show up but you rejected him because you want him to be six feet tall with a uh, hundred thousand dollars in the bank there's all this you have check boxes that are just unrealistic and that's why you're going to get let, let down sorry to tell you but your expectations need to be reasonable and they need to be um Manor, they should be manageable on your part to be able to go and do something about it and to reach them. Shouldn't be, it shouldn't be dumb, blind faith. It shouldn't be that. Another thing, reconfigure if necessary. So what you're going to have to do sometimes is that say that something goes left or right, you're going to need to reconfigure yourself to be able to handle the shift in, um, in plans. So say that something goes wrong. Or say that your boss tells you that you need to do this and that. You, you can't be like, oh, my expectation is done. I give up on that. No, what you need to do is realign yourself with, with what the expectations need from you. So say you, you already communicated with it and, it and your boss tells you, you need to go to school for four years. Oh, my gosh, four years? I'm not going to do that. I need to pay bills and all that. It's impossible. There you go. You already lost. Now, what you need to do is find a way that you're going to be able to put that in your schedule. Take night classes, perhaps. Um, say that you work and you want to hit 400 pounds, but you want to work out. You have kids and all that. Do some push-ups at your house with some weights. Put your kids on your back, maybe. I seen a girl when I was running in the, this trail. She had a, like a three-year-old kid. I'm not even exaggerating. You could ask Eddie. She had like a three-year-old kid on her, sh on her shoulder walking three miles. And she was walking uh, up a st steep hill. I was like, what? We all saw it. And she was like speed walking. I was like, what? She just, I was like, wow, that's crazy. And we all we all looked at each other and we're like, did that really just happen? Did we really just see that? We did. So she's making it happen. She's working while she's taking care of her kids, while she's enjoying the beautiful view. Now, that's the thing. We got to reconfigure. We got to know how to, like, maybe you might take your gym bag in your, in your car with you. You might have five five things in your car you might be riding a bike to work it's okay that's what it takes to get to those expectations feedback it's the same thing you need to get feedback from your expectations you need to make sacrifice like i said 
expectations don't just come to you. When you have an expectation and you want to reach it, you're going to need to sacrifice some things. You're going to have to, and that's part of the realignment. I made a list right here. Um, so another thing, you expect something from somebody. Do they understand that? Do you Are you communicating to them or your situation what you need from them? Now, um, so you have expectations of, you have your expectations of a person that you just hired to pull certain cases. You have that expectation or you have your expectation that your sister is going to do something or your brother. You have that expectation, but do you even tell them? Do they know that you want them to do that? So that's why it's so important to communicate to them and have them communicate it back. Because sometimes you're right here, I really wish that person would move or give me food or something or make me some food or do something for me or do their job right. And you never tell them. What are you going to get from that? You're never going to get anything from that if you're not communicating to the to that your expectation to, to anybody or anything that you have from a communication or from an expectation. So there's also a process. Expect early failures and expect it to be a maturity builder. Um, a lot of people get mad because look at this, like Thomas Edison, all these inventors, and I'll say Nikola Tesla, um, it's his name. Oh my gosh, there's a crazy story out there about, um, it's his name, this guy who invented Teslas. His name is uh, Elon Musk. He made, he, he started a thing, a um, program called SpaceX, where he would uh, launch things, uh, spaceships into space. Anyways, this guy, he failed so many times and he was about to lose his whole contract and he needed one more test drive um, run. And he didn't even know I was going to make it, but he made it. And his whole future was able to move forward because he had all the money and everything built on that. And he would have gone bankrupt if he didn't do it, I believe. Look at the story yourself. And um, but it's a crazy story. So a lot of times we we call a failure what could have been a success and even a um, character builder. We never built a character because we stopped short of um, stopped short of the success of the expectation that we had. Uh, success is like a child, or I mean, sorry about that. Um, expectations are like children. You really got to baby them. You got to take care of them. You got to communicate to them often. You need to feed them and all of that. So, and don't, don't yeah, like I said, don't do anything too, too big or too specific. Be flexible with it. And with that being said, a bless. Like and subscribe. Take care and see you guys soon. Peace.